Welcome back. Today we're going to talk more about string parsing. A while back I made a video about str toque, which is a classic function. You should definitely be aware of it. Uh, you'll also be warned by many people to not use it, and that's because it can be a bit annoying. And so today I wanted to do just a follow on and, and let you know that you have some other options and to look at a few of those options. Essentially what we're trying to do here is to take a string that has a bunch of tokens that are divided by some delimiter character, maybe a comma, maybe a colon, semicolon, whatever, and we want to actually split it into individual tokens. This is a super common task that programmers are always trying to do, and so today I want to look at some of the different functions that you have in C that can make this easier for you. If you're working in Python and Ruby or some other high-level language, you probably have some type of split function which does this for you, which basically takes a string and a delimiter, breaks it into an array. If you're in C, then the standard way to do it is strtoke. Uh, today I want to show you that there are a couple other options because strtoke has some problems. Specifically, the two options I want to talk about today are strtoke underscore r and strsep. But first of all, let's start out with a really simple and fairly typical program using strtoke to split a string. So I have a nonsensical test string here. In this example, I have two different calls to strtoke, one that takes the original string and the delimiter, and the other one that I pass in, I pass in null, which basically says, hey, just continue where we left off. So each call to strtoke is going to give me a token. And this is actually one of the things that I don't like about strtoke is that it requires me to make at least two calls where really each call, I just want to get the next token. And so having to make two calls feels a little cumbersome. The other thing I find annoying about strtoke is that it's not thread safe. It uses static local variables to keep track of the string that it's currently working on, and this means that if you try to call this in more than one thread at the same time, things may not go the way you want. You could end up with crashes, you could end up with memory corruption, it could be bad. So here are two equivalent or near equivalent programs that use strtoke underscore r and strsep. Basically they're doing the same thing, they're trying to parse out this string and, and separate into tokens separated by commas. Now strtoke underscore r and strsep are both thread safe, so that's an advantage. strtoke underscore r requires a third argument, which is basically a pointer that's going to keep track of the rest of the string for you so that it doesn't have to use those static local variables. It's also important to note that strtoke and strtoke underscore r are both part of the ANSI standard, so pretty much any C compiler that's ANSI C compliant, which they pretty much all are, is going to support these functions. strsep is included in the GNU standard library, so it's pretty much still available everywhere, but it may make your code a little less portable. Another difference between these functions is that strtoke r and strsep allow you to specify multiple delimiters, and it'll go through and it'll use any of the delimiters it finds. So that's a difference. The other difference you'll see is how they handle empty tokens. So in the example string in these programs, I intentionally had multiple delimiters with nothing in between. If I use strtoke or strtoke r, this basically it will treat all of those delimiters as just one delimiter which may be what you want. Maybe you don't want an empty string, but sometimes you actually do, and if you do, you should use strsep, because strsep will actually return you empty tokens for each of the delimiters that it finds. So that could be helpful. It really depends on what kind of behavior you want in your program. So now let's complain about all three. All three are still destructive. The input string that you passed in is going to be changed by these functions, all of them. That means that it's often not safe to use with strings that you care about, that you want to be preserved. It also means that you can't pass constant strings in. This is actually why I used strdupe. If any of you haven't seen that before, basically all it does is copies, it makes a duplicate string. So it mallocs some memory for the string and copies the old string into the new string. And this allows me to get a heap allocated string that then I can mess with. And it's, it's basically a, a copy that I can destroy and no one's going to care. So I just wanted to point this out. Students often struggle with string parsing in C, and hopefully a little more knowledge about these functions can make your job easier, make your projects go more smoothly. And that's all I have for you today. Until next time, I will see you later.